This is an intermediate sequence that I use to bust the winter blues. I warm up fast by starting off in downward facing dog, doing some hamstring stretches by bending one knee while straightening the other. Down dog will warm you up very quickly. Three-legged dog, raise one leg. If you do three-legged dog on one side, you need to do three-legged dog on the other side. So the two sides of your body will be worked equally. Three-legged dog on the other side If you're strong, you might want to do push-ups while you're in three-legged dog. I'm not that strong. When I come down from three-legged dog, I like to take a long pose of a child and focus on pulling the energy into my body, mind, and spirit. After down dog and three-legged dog, I'm ready for a break. This will give me a chance to talk to you about Malasana, the squat, that we're going to do next. The squat for me is an opportunity to physically stretch out my low back. Mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, Malasana or the squat is about acceptance and gratitude. It's not healthy to hold grudges. So when I'm in Malasana or Garland pose, I try to let go of grudges, accept the people that I don't like, dislike their bad behavior, especially people who maybe have deliberately tried to harm you you don't have to like their behavior, but try to accept them as people and understand their motivations. After squat, I like to push up into ragdoll. Now I'm stretching my hamstrings and my low back. Let your head hang free. You may want to turn your head from side to side a few times and then settle in. After I've turned my head a few times, I like to settle in and just hang. If you need to ease your knees a little bit, feel free to do so. If you focus on acceptance and gratitude, your mind immediately becomes more optimistic. Let's move into goddess, a wide stance with your feet turned out slightly. If you want to do the shoulder dips where you dip one shoulder down and look back the opposite way, you can add those. Dip your shoulder, come back to center. Dip the other shoulder, come back to center. Keep going with the shoulder dips as long as you feel like they're appropriate for you 
and they feel good. This whole sequence is about raising your energy and your optimism and improving how you feel. If you want to dig deeper into this, you can head over to my website and read my whole blog post. Scoop your arms up, interlace your fingers, and point your index finger in the victory mudra. And now we're going to move on to wide-legged standing forward fold. Inhale, get tall. Float down. I'm going to take this a little further. I'm going to take it on out into fan by planting the top of my head on the floor and holding my two ankles. If you don't do headstand, fan is a good substitute for it. It's a strong inversion. I find the strong inversions always brighten my mood sends the winter blues on their way. You can stay in this as long as it feels good. You don't have to plant your head all the way on the floor. If you can and you want to, you can. Here comes Chance. Chance behave. To come out, put your hands on the floor, raise your head, and then heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, till your feet are back in. And an easy way to come out is to walk your hands up your legs. Now for our final pose today, let's interlace our hands behind our backs. Raise the arms a little bit. And as you exhale, fold forward and let your arms and hands come up over your head. Chest expander. This one always raises my energy level. When I come out of this, pay attention to my hands and watch the energy when I release the interlaced hands, they float up. That's physical proof right there that yoga moves energy around your body. Now let's place our hands in prayer pose and focus one more time on acceptance and gratitude. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful that I have a warm place to live during the winter. I'm grateful that I have food to eat. Focus on the things that make you grateful. Scoop all this optimistic energy up we've generated. Pull it down. Put it into your forehead. Namaste. Thanks for tuning in. Check out CarmenCooperYoga.com. I hope you'll hit like and subscribe. Leave me a comment and let me know, how do you chase away your winter blues?